Praise be to Allah. Now, um, I just wanted to uh, address not an item of, well, even though it is current, it's not really an item of current news. Uh, at the moment, we're living in a time of year where it's nice and bright and sunny. It's a sunny autumn and we're still in, or there's still one week left of British summertime. Um, so it will be coming to an end uh, this time next week uh, when darkness will be drawing upon the nation of the UK in the form of Greenwich Mean Time. Um, but before I go any further, I just wanted to touch on some passages of Scripture. In 3 John, uh, verse 11, we read, Beloved, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. And also in the book of Romans, chapter 12 verse 9 we read abhor that which is evil cleave to that which is good and in the first book of Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 21 and 22 we read prove all things hold fast to that which is good abstain from all appearance of evil now I hope you will understand why I'm referring to those passages in Scripture. Now, when British summer time started last spring, the government stole an hour of our lives from every one of us. Yeah? And, and the entire nation, as a matter of fact, in order that we could utilise daylight more productively during the summer months. However, in the autumn, that at one hour, this happens every year, that one hour is given back to each and every one of us. And next Sunday, we may enjoy a 25 hour day on the very first day of Greenwich Mean Time, but that is then followed by shorter daylight time all over, all the way to the end of March into the following year. This means the nation of Britain is plunged into darkness. It means there are more fatalities on the roads with uh, more cyclists, pedestrians being put at risks and motorists having a harder time to see road signs. There are an estimated 80 deaths per year and 200 serious injuries as a consequence of changing from British summertime to Greenwich Mean Time. And it is also the Halloween season. And we all know that evil loves darkness. The darkness of the night is the correct environment and setting for Halloween. So what is Halloween? Now I tried to do some study here, but I didn't have time. So I'm gonna do what I can this week and by the grace of Allah, I will fill you in some more on Halloween. Now, for most people in the UK, we think that Halloween is a fun time for children where they can put on costumes, have parties and trick or treat. However, on a darker note, believers and followers in Wicca, witchcraft, Satanism and paganism take Halloween very, very seriously indeed. It is at this time of the year that they perform their worst, darkest rituals where devils, demons and spirits are unleashed. Now, Halloween is the time of the year where they glorify these followers of witchcraft, Satanism and paganism, they glorify death. Now, where does Halloween come from? Well, it started with According to my sources, it started with ancient Celtic Druids. Now, Druids are devil worshippers who celebrate two nights of the year. They celebrate the 31st of October being Halloween and the 1st of November. And they worship the god named Salween 
and they also celebrate the 1st of May, what we call May Day, and they worship the god Beltane. Now, Salween means summer's end. Salween is a night celebrating death and hell. It is a terrifying night of human sacrifices and it is the original or the origin of Halloween. The Druids call the New Year, the Druid New Year is the 1st of November. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Druids New Year's Eve is Hallow's Eve or Halloween. Now, Druids believe that all people who died in the past year would rise up to find their passage into the netherworld. On this night, the passageway to the netherworld was at its thinnest and Salween, the Lord of Darkness, would lay in wait to capture their souls and take them to the world of darkness. Now, to this day, and also in Christmas, people put candles in their windows and this is meant to help guide these souls so that the dark god Salween will not capture them. Now we know that Shaitan, Satan, the devil, captures people's souls. This is even mentioned in the World Book of Encyclopedia, where it states that the dead could also move among the living at this time. Now I'm saying all of this because we're, we're going into supermarkets every day, we're seeing uh, paraphernalia celebrating Halloween, it's all targeted towards our children, we're seeing programs on television, again, celebrating death, mm-hmm. horror. Um, you know, Hollywood is normalizing uh, these rituals at this particular time of the year. We've had things like uh, Buffy, the Vampire Slayer. Mm-hmm. What other programs have we had? We've had uh, Sabina, the witch or something. Uh, yeah, we've had all kinds of manner of programs that celebrate Halloween and everything related to it. But at the root, these Satanists, these pagans, believe that they can communicate with spirits of the dead, especially at this time of the year. And why is Halloween so popular? Well, in the seventh century, Pope Gregory III and the Roman Catholic Church adopted the practices of Salween and renamed it All Saints Day. And All Saints Day, in fact, is another name for All Hallows Day. And anything that is hallowed is meant to be holy. Uh, It's meant to be, it's also, this day was called Hallow Mass. It's also the Feast of All Saints. Um, And it's meant to be the, the day of the year to commemorate all of the saints. But in the USA, it is also known as the Day of the Dead. All right, the 31st of October is a day of intense activity for both the human and the supernatural. Now, I've got so much more to to discuss on this, but I didn't have time to get the notes together. But this is the phase of the year that we're entering into, whereby all of these satanic rituals that are going on around us happen at this particular time of the year. So uh, I'm only saying that as a warning to some of our brothers and sisters who think that their children are just indulging in some harmless fun to think again because what we put into the minds of our children will definitely have an impact later on in their lives. And what we, we underestimate the enemy of Allah because his job is to make evil fair seeming. His job is to make, to blur the line between what is true and what is false. And if we then start using excuses like, oh, it's just some fun for the children, then he's got you. He has you in his grasp. So, brothers and sisters, even though it was not current affairs, that I was dealing with in the media, because yeah, no, we've had all the Brexit, we've had all of the, uh, the nonsense this week, saying, oh, we're gonna do a deal, we're gonna do a deal. Oh no, we're not gonna do a deal. No. We're forgetting that Halloween is soon to be upon us. It is a very dark, spiritual time, 
Uh, it's important that we cling to Allah to get us through these winter months because we've been, as always, every year plunged into darkness.